Hey guys, Double Wide 6 here. And uh, this little video, I'm taking apart an engine. I'm going to analyze what exactly is wrong with it. And uh, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about um, how I go about parting out the engines. There's a, a guy named Love the Boat on YouTube that's been uh, following me a little bit and I've been answering some questions on selling some of the parts so I thought I'd make a little video uh, of kind of how I do it so you can stay tuned and as always thanks for watching hey guys double wide six here and what we're looking at is an 18 and a half Briggs Intec engine I see these engines on tractors all the time that are blown and if we take a close look here you can see the top of the piston broke just a little piece up top and that's actually the ring you're seeing underneath there and if you look around once that piece broke off you can see it got kinda mashed a little bit we're gonna pull this thing apart and we're just gonna look at the inside and see uh, well either I'm gonna rebuild this engine or I'm going to part it out so we'll take a look so before I even <clears throat> take the engine apart I noticed when I flipped it over here you can hear inside that there's some small broken metal particles so not only is there damage on top of the piston internally you could tell something's broken so from the looks of things it's probably just going to be a parts engine So I'm <clears throat> loosening up the pump, the sump on this thing. We're just going to tap it a little bit with a mallet and see if we can get it to pop up. I don't think the rubber mallet is going to do it, but I'm just try and loosen it up a little. There it goes. So we have our sump loose. And we'll pop that out of there and we'll take a look. So right here's a look at the sump. <clears throat> you can see it has an oil filter, which you know is kind of the better model. Some of these, the 17 and don't have the oil filter. And uh, if we look in here, you can see there are little bits of aluminum in here. So, we're going to have to investigate a little further. So now we're looking into the block. Here's the crankshaft. The crankshaft looks good, and if we look real closely, you'll see that the connecting rod is connected to the crankshaft journal, and that's not broken. A lot of times that connecting rod breaks. If we look up here on the cam, once again, we can see a little bit more aluminum. And if you look all the way down in the block, you will, it's hard to see, but uh, you will see once again, there are more pieces of aluminum. I think the good news is this aluminum is from the piston skirt, from what I can guess right now, but I'm not positive. Down in the bottom of the block, I, I found this little spring and that is actually part of the bottom oiling ring on the piston see this is a a, a different piston that i had laying around uh, this is actually an exact part for this engine i'm taking apart so looks like um the piston skirt and uh rings failed here so here's a look at the, uh, here's your governor shaft coming in, and this is your oil slinger. You'll see that this thing just pops off of the cam there, and to reinstall it, all you have to do is just take that oil slinger, drop it down there, and this tip is spring-loaded, so as long as that tip is on the uh, governor shaft like that, that's good to go. There's no timing or anything on this particular piece. So 
Uh, that's basically how that goes back on if you're curious. There we go. Here's a look at the timing marks on these Intec engines. You can see on the camshaft right here there's a dimple. And when you look at the crankshaft gear, there's a little dimple right on that tooth. Those two have to line up or your timing's going to be off. So hopefully you can see that. So just a little side note, the, the parts on this engine used don't really cost a lot. So if you have one that has, usually you get a broken connecting rod. Um, you know, if the, the bore's in good shape and everything's good, it really doesn't cost that much, especially if you get used parts. You can get this gasket here for about less than 10 bucks. And um, the only other thing that you'd need besides like a connecting rod would be like the rings. Uh, and uh, I would probably buy a new piston if I, if I went ahead and was going to rebuild it. But, uh, you know, you can find good used parts. So here's the camshaft. All you have to do is you should just be able to pull up, and that should pull right out. You can see the lobes. We'll take a look at this. Um, there really doesn't appear to be any damage. It also has this spring-loaded part down here, and that seems to be working good. So... Uh, this is a good part. I just sold one of these last week. I got 65 bucks for it, I think. Maybe it's 55, but yeah, they, they sell. So I turned the crankshaft so I can locate the, the bolt holding on the connecting rod. I'm just trying to break this loose. loose I'm going to switch over to the air ratchet see if I can get in here and that's enough to get it out of there so it's a couple days later and uh, I just want to give you guys a little update on what I'm doing with this engine basically as you can see uh, you know you're looking at a craftsman 17 and a half overhead valve engine um, the engine blocks if they're not scored up they're they're worth pretty good money they're worth uh, you know close to a hundred dollars on eBay um, the uh, camshaft these go for close to fifty dollars on eBay with this engine, I don't usually get PTOs, but uh, I, I got this engine. A guy brought it with the PTO. That this one's a, a Warner PTO, and they sell new for uh, about 280 bucks. So the used market, I'm looking to get about uh, 115, I think, for it. These starters go real quick. They don't sell for a whole lot. Um, I think I usually end up selling these for around 25 bucks this is uh, a stator so that's underneath the flywheel these don't go for a whole lot maybe like 15 bucks the sump this is a pretty common part that breaks this one's the better one it has the oil filter on the right hand side these things you can usually sell fairly quick and uh, you know, I think these go for about sixty or seventy dollars. Um, the other thing that the uh, camshaft, these things break a lot. Like if you have a broken connecting rod, uh, the camshaft will end up getting broken. So I think they sell pretty quick. I know I've done pretty well on them in the past. This little plastic flywheel fan thing, they go for about fifteen dollars on eBay. The carburetors. These things always sell. I usually keep it bolted together like you see. And uh, I think I sell that for about $65. And that includes the shipping just like that with the solenoid, the whole thing, intake. The uh, crankshaft, I always uh, get rid of these. I mean, if they're good, this one here is no good. You can see it's uh, scored up there on the journal. 
but this one it has uh, the counterweight on it the whole thing and usually I sell them with the uh, crankshaft timing gear on there I don't have it on this one um, I already sold the one from this engine I think uh, that that brought over a hundred dollars for a used good shape one um, this is the oil spout that'll go for like ten bucks this is the coil the coil on these don't go for that much maybe like 18 bucks or so flywheel uh, about 50 bucks including shipping and this is uh, I don't know what they call that thing some sort of electronic module uh, has to do with the starter and uh, or the stator I'm not sure that thing I know it lists for about 50 bucks and I'm, I'm trying to sell it for uh, you know close to 20 I think used so that that's pretty much what I do with the parts if I don't need them and uh, these particular engines uh, all the time they have problems you know uh, there's really an issue and uh, people are always looking for parts because uh, you can probably repair one. Oh, the other thing I'm missing I already sold it I sell the uh, the head um, complete with the uh, the lifters and the rods and the valves and everything and you know that usually goes for about 70 bucks or so so uh, there's there's really good money in these parts you know if you have an engine that's shot you can just take it apart and part it out on eBay um, that's kinda what I've been doing lately maybe I'll show you guys my uh, setup so usually what I do is just uh, list this stuff throw it in a box and uh, surprisingly you know it does sell pretty quick and I think the reason that it actually sells is because some of these parts from Dr Briggs and Stratton cost a ton of money. Um, you know, like the crankshaft, that's like over $200. The uh, camshaft, that thing's probably like 180 bucks. So it's very expensive to get the parts from the factory. So the way to get them is the used market. So here's why eBay seems to be pretty good like this valve is in good shape and uh, if you bought it from Briggs and Stratton brand new it's 23 bucks you get a retaining clip that's six something you get a spring that's six bucks these little clips a little bit extra so you add it all up you know you're over 30 bucks for a valve and you can get this from me on eBay for like 15 bucks the full set and uh, you know that would include shipping so that's kind of why I do eBay I think it it's pretty good for people that are looking for parts so I used to use eBay in the past about three years ago and it's kind of a pain you pack everything up bring it down to post office figure out what it weighs pay for it now they have these priority boxes and these are great for like engine parts because they weigh a lot these can hold up to 70 pounds and you can see they're fairly good size and you can ship them you know anywhere in the US and you know this box a medium one I think it's about 12 bucks so you just stick it in there put it out by the mailbox they'll pick it up right at my house um, I also started doing the stamps.com so if you just put anything in a box you figure out what it weighs and uh, I like to use the uh, sticker labels and I just run them right through the printer print them out and buy them right off PayPal and it makes it easy and once again they'll pick it right up at your house so uh, that's pretty much how I do this stuff and uh, thanks for asking love the boat because uh, it was actually a pretty good question and uh, I think some of my viewers will actually enjoy figuring out a little bit what I do with uh, some of these parts that I don't need and you know it's a good thing because other people can use them so anyhow I'm double wide six I appreciate you watching and I look forward to your comments so please subscribe